All right, hello everybody. Welcome to tonight's team call. It is February 7th and we are super excited to have uh, Randy Smith. She is a lifetime diamond coach on the team and she offered to share with us tonight how to set up um, uh, those link tree forms that people can fill out when they're interested in your challenge group and you want to ask them a couple questions or they're interested in the business opportunity and you want to ask them a couple questions first these are great little ap applications and it's it's kind of like more you know um it's great to message people and ask some questions but this is a little more official um so randy is going to share with us um, her presentation here on how to do that. So thank you, Randy, and you can take it away. Let me switch this to speaker view, and I know you're going to um, share your screen as well. So let me. Yes. Yeah, so how do I share my screen? I don't see the. I don't hear you, Nicole. There's a thing down the bottom. It should be a green box. I'm sure. sorry. I muted myself. Yes, this should be. I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay. So, can you see it? Okay. So, um, I made this little presentation because I thought it would be a little easier for you to all walk through it. At the very end, we're going to do one. So, this won't take very long to go through this, but it explains a little better than I can just say it. So um, pretty much it's a link that will do it all for you in a way. But uh, I, I put this in here because my why has always been to be healthy and an active mom. And part of that is being there for my kids. So this job or this, this part of my life is important to me. So um, she, Nicole pretty much said all this. So I'm gonna skip that part and then I mainly do this on Instagram and Facebook, but it would work for any social media. Uh, you could do it on Pinterest or Twitter or Snapchat. Uh, it's just a link, and so you could add it to any of your bios so that, or your like about section, so anybody could have access to it. You could send it even in just messages. Um, so pretty much it's a short link that houses all of your important links, and you can change it pretty easy and whenever you feel like it needs a change. Uh, I add it as a call to action to a lot of my posts so that people know where to go because they uh, sometimes, you know, you don't, you don't know where to send them. So here is a place to send them. So if nothing else, they'll probably leave with something even if it's just an email list. Um, if people take the time to actually do this, they are the ones that I notice usually buy something eventually uh, because they're a little bit more committed and they ha you have a way to connect with them. Um, it's an organized system. So you'll need a Linktree account and it's free. There is a paid version I've never had to pay. So uh, I'm not sure what the reason you would even pay for. Maybe, you, I think you can house even as many links as you want. Uh, I, I think maybe you can make it a little bit more creative if you pay. So um, that's basically what it looks like, this little uh, thing right here. And you can change each one of these. You can change the color, you can change the font. Um, and then you'll need a jot form, or I know there's, I don't know how to say it, Wufu or Wofo, or I know people have used those. I haven't used that one, so I think you can use that, and it you just need the links. So we'll do jot form today, though. It's free and easy. And, and so we'll go through, like, my first one. It says, uh, you should make this your own, but mine is join my online fitness and nutrition boot camp. And this is what, it, when you click on that, this is what it brings you to. So it's pretty much like I think of it, how when I message people or invite them, this is basically what I ask them, all in form. So I tell them pretty much what we're doing. I get their name and email, and to me that's been more important as my business has went on in time, because this way I've been emailing people more and more, and not that we should totally get off Facebook, but it's been 
a neat process. So I've enjoyed getting emails and then here's some basic questions, but see, I want to redo this. So we are going to kind of redo it tonight together. And I have a bunch of examples for you, but I left this as my old one. And then you get to know your customer a little bit more. And that was the rest of that form. So then the next one is, uh, want me to help you start your online business. So this is another survey that helps them. You would know that they technically kind of want to be a coach or at least want more information. And then um, uh, I have one that links to my story. So you don't have to have a website. Uh, I didn't forever, but you could do this on a bunch of different platforms. You could even have this linked to a Facebook group or anything, but Mine is linked to my website with my story so that someone could read it. Uh, another one is do what I do, maybe. So if people are interested in a sneak peek, I send them to my bio. They can click here and it brings them right to my uh, Facebook group so they could ask to join. And then some other ideas, and there's probably a million different ideas you could go through, but. Uh, you could just do a transform 20 challenge group and so it could be a link directly to your uh, group page and then you could go through the process of asking them questions and setting them up with a challenge pack uh, you could have one just for a newsletter or I have one that's also my Amazon favorites so to me this is a little bit time-consuming and I haven't totally mastered it yet but um, I often get people that'll say something about like, what are your favorite hair ties or what are your favorite shoes or uh, whatever. So you can send them here and you can have all of your Amazon favorites and a link and you actually do, you can sign up as an affiliate and get a little bit of money. I have never looked at it as money. I don't, I've only made pretty much pennies from that, but in a way you're helping people because you truly like that stuff. And so people, learn to like you or trust you in that way because they are my favorite hair ties or they are my favorite things. Um, so I am going to unshare this page. Can I um, just, I'm going to pause you for one quick second. So one of my link trees, just to give you guys an idea is, um, the free transform 20 workout sample too. There you go. That would be a great so, one. Just a little, no, that's a good, I, I want to do that. That's a good one. <laughs> Uh, I'm, idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to my normal there. You can see job form. So if you guys sign up, I don't know if we really want to go through all this tonight. If you guys are, I, I think we can do it pretty fast and you can make, you'll end with a form. So you can go to job form and I think it's pretty easy. So I'll give you guys like a second to either log in or, um, uh, sign up. Like you just have to put your name, email. Are you still screen sharing? Yeah, can you see my screen? It says job form. Oh, oh, all right. I thought we were unsharing, so we go to a different screen. All right. So you, should, you, you go to jobform.com. I think I, this is what I was, if you can see this, I'm not sure what you can see. Can you see me or the my screen? I see, I see your screen. I just wasn't sure if we were unsharing and going to jot form from the computer or I'm just grabbing my phone. <laughs> oh, you could do that. You could either one. So, uh, jot form and then get to here is I think where it'll take you after you're in and then you'll hit create form on the left and create a free form. I do more than one question because I like, I like to get as much information as I can. Uh, once they're in there, they don't have to answer all the questions and most people don't honestly, but, uh, they at least answer some. And so you get a brief idea of what they're after. So I start with a blank one. You could do an, uh, template or, you know, if you had one from a different one, I was going to name this transform yourself. And then I have a whole list of questions and um, of ideas. And maybe I'll post it in the group after this because it's, there's a lot of ideas and you can add to it and maybe everyone will have some more ideas. 
So, but I go to the left and you put in, you want their full name, at least I do, and you want their email, or you can do this however you want. This is what's fun about it, is just, you can make it your own. Um, and then you can, right here, you put in short text entry, and you can change the question. So, like one of the questions that I always ask is, what have you done in the past that you enjoyed for fitness? So, uh, let me just put that in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then that gives them the opportunity to answer. But I'm going to show you guys a different one. You could do multiple choice. So you just drag and drop it. And another thing I wanted to say when I was doing the presentation is, don't focus so much on being perfect and spending hours doing this because this isn't gonna make you a ton of money. It actually could be a waste of time. It's a great tool and it's great to have for organization, but don't spend all day working on it. Just get it done and then you can perfect it later. So like, I think you can change all these fonts and make them all pretty. You can change the color, just get it up there, and then at least you got the basic form done. Um, another one I always ask is, how much time do you feel like you have? So you could put here, like do that question, and then put like 20 minutes and relate it to our workouts, or uh, 30 minutes, or do you have 60 minutes to do workouts? So you could give them an option so that they actually, they, they seem to answer multiple choice better. And I'll, I'll post all these questions on the page so everybody can see them. But, um, you know, I'm not sure what everyone usually asks. So it'd be interesting to see. But I, uh, I try to get as much information from them as I can. I think of it as when I'm messaging somebody back and forth. And, uh, but I'm putting it in form instead of having to answer those and type all that up every time. Instead of me spending so much time doing that, it, that's more personal and a great tool, and I still do it all the time. But this way, you're getting all the answers, but you're not having to type all that up all the time. You can just send them right to this link, and they can answer all the questions for you, and then you have it in a form. Uh, so think of all the questions you ask. That's my point, I guess. Um, just briefly, some of the questions I had was, what is your nutrition? Have you dieted before? How do you feel about dieting? Because I, I try to take my people away from the thought of restricting themselves. So uh, I like them to kind of open up about that. And uh, what are a couple of vices you have? Do you smoke? Do you drink pop? Uh, do you sit a lot? What's your job like? Uh, so that you're really just trying to get to know the person and their life. Uh, and then do you have any questions for me? So you could put all that in here so that they can respond back to you. So let's pretend like this is done and um, we want the link. So you'll go up and see here where it says settings. You could change it all and make it pretty, but we're just gonna publish it. And then you take that link, you copy the link and you're gonna open up a new tab for Linktree. And um, you log in. And I'm gonna add a new button. And I'm gonna put, it's just like my other one, but join my live, no, my online, my online boot camp. And see how it already made a new thing at the top of that? And then you just plug the link in there. So you copy and paste. And then once you unclick auto, it turns green. That means it's active. And that's as easy as it is. So then I take this link that's up here. You guys can see this, right? Okay. You take this link up here in the right-hand corner and you put it in your bio. So I could show you where, like, this will link to Instagram automatically. Um, but I put it in my Facebook one too, I think. Let's see if I really have it in there. No, I do. Right here. The link tree and so I can say to people go to my bio and click on the link in a post you could say that or you could just copy this link 
and post it on a post or do all kinds of different things with it. And same with just those forms. You can use just the form link and post that in a post if you just specifically want to focus on that one form. But I have one for all different parts of what I offer. So is there any questions? Yes, I have a question. Um, so, oh my gosh, can you zip her? Gwen. Um, so how, do, so do you also have an email, um, like, I don't know, Mark, Mark does all this for me, so, um, do you need an, what is it called? Do you need an email thing? <laughs> like a email provider? Like yeah. A, like no, you don't. This? Okay. I think if you pay, if you pay for it, I think you can do all that with it, but I don't pay for it. <laughs> so I don't know. I was trying to switch you back so you could see my face. I don't know how to do that. So, um, okay. So when someone fills out a form, how do you know? It will send you an email automatically. Cause when you signed up, it automatically, um, took your email that you put in there. Okay. So when someone signs up, you'll get a notification in your inbox. Okay. So this with the form. So they're putting their email in for you, but it's not creating an email list for you. That's no. what I'm trying. Okay. No, but if you, it's just, I think that was, if you pay for it, it will automatically integrate if you have an email list. So like I do on MailChimp. So, that's what it was, MailChimp. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. Okay. So that's what I was trying it to say. It will integrate if you pay. But okay. I don't pay. So I do it all manually. It takes a little bit more time, but okay. I'm not getting mass amounts of people either. I guess if you start getting like, you know, hundreds of people, you would want it to automatically integrate. Okay. So yeah. So guys, so um, I can have Mark talk about, um, I don't even know how much MailChimp costs to like. Well, or MailChimp, I believe is free until the first five or maybe it's 2000. Okay. So, yeah, so I'm not sure. So he does all this part. Um, but basically, you could build your email list on MailChimp from the forms. Um, and then you could technically do like a, so you could technically do like a jab, 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 right hook thing later. Like, so you could technically, there, you know, say you collect 25 emails, you could then you know, at the first of the month, send everybody on your email list a free recipe. Then the next, yeah. you know, the next email, four days later, you could send them the Transform 20 workout or, you know, so like you could send them jab, 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 you know, free, 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 and then offer ultimate portion fix when it comes out. You know, yeah. so this is, so that's another way to build your email list and your list by using these forms. So these forms are like, you know, click link in bio and they fill out the form and you get an email and you start connecting with them. Or you could use this to, like if someone just does the sample email. So like some, one of the ways Mark will set up, a, um, if someone does the sa sample of Transform 20, he'll send out an email um, like chain, like the first email will say this, the second, did you get it? It'll say, thank you. Did you get a chance to try the workout? And then the second email will say something else, you know, and then, um, you know, so there's just lots of different ways to use all of these things. But I do love that Randy's just starting us off with this, this part, um, which is great. But I just wanted to kind of throw that out there that there are, you know, you could take this even further. You could build an email list. You could put, do this into newsletters and, and just kind of take it from there. Yeah. Let's see what the questions were. Oh, there's a chat, huh? Yeah. So Renee's asking how you get people to kind of fill out your form. She's got the form, she's got the link tree, but she can't seem to get anyone to fill them out. Either can I, <laughs> FYI. <laughs> uh, I do sometimes have great, lately, actually the last week or so, I'm thinking it's funny that I was doing this presentation because I don't think I've had anyone fill one out and I've sent it out a couple times. But a month ago, I had probably two dozen people 
within a matter of days filling it out. And that's probably has something to do with the New Year's, but I can still keep connecting with those people. And that's how I look at it. So it's slow. It's kind of like, uh, you know, like a free offer. Like you can offer this, like I have this to offer you, fill this out for me. And it's the link. So you could give them a free recipe on like when you post valuable things on your Facebook that you feel like is worth something. You can say, well, do me a favor since this was so great and fill out this form for me. And so then they, and you don't even have to relate it to like, fitness right now you could relate it to like do you want to set a goal do you uh, you know need to organize your life a little bit more or you know you don't have to dive right into fitness it might be good not to at the beginning you might get more traction and then once people gain uh, trust then you can talk about fitness and health more What, what, do you know what the one question means? What type of company? I can't, can't hear you, Nicole. I think you're muted. No, I, I, um, when I was signing up for the job form, it asked for a type of company, but I just put oh. in fitness and it came right it's, up. So. It's very, I forgot it does that. You're right. It's yeah. Fitness. Yeah. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. I need to do it right. <laughs> so, but I got it. I don't know why it asked that, honestly. I don't know if it changes or I don't know. I bet too with getting people to um, fill out your form, it's it may be that one magic post that speaks to everyone or something that want, you know, that people are just going to be like, that you know, stop in their scroll and it's, you know, something different, something else out of the box, something that just kind of catches their eye. That's going to make them, um, cl click the form, you know, like get abs in eight days or something, right? <laughs> like something like that's going to just catch their eye, which obviously don't use that, but you know what I mean? Like something that's going to kind of catch their attention. Yes. I think the one that I had everybody fill out was a before and after it was yeah. like a people, see it and think I want that so mm -hmm. yep I'm gonna fill out your form yeah so it doesn't always though but if you have the good post it, they do yep yep so is that has everyone gone through and set up their link tree a job form or are you going to um watch this on recording and do it like is that more what everyone's thinking okay and I'll post all these questions but maybe that would be a fun thing to add like I'll post it in the group or something um, maybe it'd be a fun thing for everyone to add to the questions. Like, so everyone has an idea of things we can ask people. Cause I'm sure I don't have them all. And, uh, you know, in the, their forms, you can add your own twist to it. Yeah. And you definitely want to keep tweaking it. Cause Mark and I were looking at mine the other day and, um, you know, he's like, we've got to fix the business one. And I'm like, yeah, the business well, one, you know, so you right. always want to be tweaking. Like when I was writing on these questions, I thought I'm switching mine yeah. because some of the questions I'm like, I don't know why I asked that. It's not important yeah. anymore to me. So yeah. So you always want to be reviewing, tweaking, just like kind of everything um, that we do, but it is nice to, especially on Instagram because your stories have such a, a short, you know, you can't really say much in your stories. So like if you're typing a, if you're putting like join my next challenge group, click my link in bio. Like it's just easy to just type, click link in bio. Like, and that's more, more people are apt to do that than send a message or post or make a comment. Like it's more anonymous type thing if until that, cause they want to see what the form looks like. What are you asking me? What do we do? You know? So um, I think this is a great way for, for the call to actions in your post, click link in bio. Um, I actually told Mark tonight, um, I was texting him from gymnastics and I was like, you should probably change the cover photos on, on my pages and add the link tree to my cover photos, you know, one for the business, one for health and fitness. So, um, so he'll be working on that. <laughs> so you can go stalk my pages and see what he does there. But, um, yeah, just lots of different ideas and lots of different shares, but a, a lot of coaches use forms. A lot of coaches use forms. Like, especially, um, you know, a lot of the top coaches that have 
hundreds of success club points. They have people fill out forms. So it's just a matter of finding the right form, the right questions, the right post. But yes, like Randy said, don't spend a lot of time trying to perfect that. Just keep tweaking it until you get it right, until you find a, the great post or the great form and just keep just keep doing it. Yeah, I think that's probably been one of my biggest mistakes over the years is uh, feeling like it needs to be perfect. Yeah. It's just get it out there. It's better to be not perfect and even have a word spelled wrong or something and just have it going because then people see it. If you never finish it, you'll never get going. <laughs> yeah, so um, let so Randy's going to post some of those questions. So let's keep that in one thread in the coaches page to give each other ideas on what you're going to, you know, what form you're going to have, what you're – what your little section is going to have and just kind of post it in there. But then, um, you know, just let us know when you're done, when you've set it all up and you've started and you've put the link in your bio and you're like ready to go. So we can make sure that every bit let's like hold each other all accountable to make sure we actually do this. Cause I, it is a good, it is a good way to, to add as a call to action. You could say, message me, you could say, join my event. You can say, you can still do all of the things you're doing now, but this is just another call to action step. Um, which is great. And then you can integrate MailChimp into it and um, have your email list so that you can start talking to people that way too. Yeah. Awesome. Candace is asking if you like this better than Google Forms. I actually don't know. I haven't used Google Forms very much. So I, I'm not a good, do you know, Nicole? Uh, I don't know. We've tried lots of different forms. We've tried WooFoo. We've done all of those. I don't know exactly which one Mark uses at this point. I actually think they're all fine. Similar. They're all fine. Yeah. I'm yeah. assuming it's whatever one you feel comfortable with. Yeah. I use this one because it was free. I as Google Forms probably is too, though, so... It's probably great. <laughs> I, when we were going through, when you were going through it, I just think it looks a little more user friendly than Google Forms. Is uh, it? The formatting of it, it looks nice on the screen. Like when I did the preview, it looked nice on the screen. So mm -hmm. it looks easy too with the drag and click. You know? yeah, yeah, I think that's why I liked it too. There's not, there's not much to learn. It's like just drag and drop it. You can make them a little prettier, but there's not a whole lot to change. I think if you pay, you can do more, but honestly for free, it looks pretty. There's about six different colors you can pick from. And, but I bet Google forms, I like Google. So I bet theirs is good too, but I don't know how to use it. <laughs> I just felt a little overwhelmed with it personally. I'm not, I'm not super techie. So I just felt like it was a lot. Um, I think that happened to me a few years ago, and that's why I haven't used it. Awesome. Any other questions? Comments, questions? All right. Well, thank you, Randy, so much for your time. I appreciate this. We appreciate this. Get us moving on taking some action on something different. I love it. Yeah. Thanks for having me, because... Yeah, I, I needed to do more of this kind of stuff. Yes, you did great in your little presentation. Your PowerPoint was amazing. So, yes, awesome. <laughs> All right, thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.